Here's a quick update with my super shaky camera. So this is the black locust and the Osage orange tray that I had. I've moved it outside so I can get acclimated. Uh, slugs have taken to it and my other stuff and uh, pretty much took this guy, these guys to the stem which is very saddening for me. Uh, quinoa is still doing good. I really need to transplant it. Um, so I planted this bed out actually with a bunch of uh, ornamentals and lavender and here's some of my other uh, berries. One of the things that I, I really like actually is um, my figs that I've that I my fig cuttings have really done well. So that's exciting. I've got about eight or nine of them. I'll show them to you guys later. So there's all the lavender and other stuff that I planted. I think I've got like 15 lavender plants or something like that in here. And now we're getting sunny. It's about eight o'clock. Um, we got a couple more hours of sunlight left up here, which is nice. This tree, I have no idea what it is. Maybe a plum or a cherry, I think. So, I won't show you where the tractor is. It's super overgrown with grass. I will come over to the garden here. There's a couple things in here that I'd want to show. One is, you see the piles of dead grass that's from the scythe. And that's great, and I'll show you why. Um, come over here. This is like a zucchini bed that's finally taken off. But this one right here is why the uh, the scythe is so great because you get all of this uh, um, material here that just chokes out anything underneath of it. This is a service berry right here. It's kind of hard to see with the, the light the way it is. But yeah. So this year I've been completely inundated with weeds everywhere. These are a couple volunteer squash or zucchinis. Um, but yeah, here's my regular red Russian kale weed patch, along with some red cabbage that I'd put in. Over there is my other red cabbage uh, bed. I got some green cabbage buried in there. I really need to do some weeding. Got some wildflowers. That's called foxglove. It's a very invasive weed around here, and surprisingly, they still manage to sell it at the uh, at the nurseries around here. Eight bucks a for a half gallon pot. Here's a bunch of seeding arugula and celery that I transplanted from my uh, my greenhouse here. Here's another weed infested uh, garden bed that has celery and lettuce and some marigolds. And of course the weeds. Now this is the neat thing that I finally got. So this is wheat that uh, is growing from my chicken feed, the chicken food that the chickens just scattered. Some of it's not wheat, some of it's a, a grass, but probably have enough here to plant next year and make some bread even. So here's a little blueberry that I had. I got this from a place called Grocery Outlet. I bought 25 of these bushes here for $2 each. And if I would have been smart, I would have bought like all 100 or so that they had. But I, let, I, I even bought actually like 10 or so for my buddy. But here's the the straw mulch that I cut and made for myself and put around these guys. But, and as you can see, the grass is really uh, taking over here. Here's my strawberry patch. I just picked about uh, two pounds of strawberries from it today. Doing really well. And let's go over to the greenhouse here. I'm just going to come in this other side because I don't want to get by that black raspberry. So this guy has been like completely inundated with weeds. If you can see, the floor is just like a carpet of them. And up here, in the beds, it's just the same. If you can look over there for any indication, it's hard to even see the dirt. But I wanted to show you guys the figs. Figs are doing great. Don't have super ton of them, but the tree itself is growing. And there's figs on the vine. Got, uh, Tomatoes, where my tomatoes go? Oh, here we go. I have tomatoes here. Looks like I really need to stake these guys up. And here, these are indeterminate on this side. Oh, I'm getting some uh, fruit on my tomatillo. See, little uh, sheaths 
and then my pepper plants. I actually managed to harvest some peppers off of them this first year in a long time. I've got some peppers. And here's some indeterminates in the center. Here we come out the other end of the greenhouse to the orchard. This is where the fun stuff is going. Well, the fun stuff's going on, rather. Uh, here's a uh, tree that I have no idea what it is. It's a fruit tree of some kind. But, let me come over into the full shadow here. So, oh. so here is my apple tree, one of them. If you look in there, apples everywhere. Even bending the branches down. So here's another branch bent down. Here's another. Let me get on the far side. Now let me go to this one. Here we go. So apples are just all over these guys, which is super exciting for me. And even my Cox's Orange Pippin has pretty well loaded this year. And you can see, they're all doing fairly well. I started thinning some of these. I noticed that it does a, they do a fairly decent job of self pruning or self thinning. Um, oh, there's some ants I need to get off of. There, this is a, uh, I believe, either Antonovka or Honeycrisp, and the one next to it is Antonovka or Honeycrisp. But they do pretty well. This is the first year, of course, I've had any uh, fruit of any amount. These guys right here will be a really, really striking red color when they're done. And so they show up really well on the tree here. So, it's pretty cool, super excited about it. And, there we go. I planted a bunch of stuff in here, super easy, but you can tell it's hard to see anything because slugs have only left pretty much that one lettuce plant. And I've also actually, besides just slugs, I've had to deal with uh, um, rabbits, it looks like, as well. So let's go check out one of my cherry trees over here. Of course, my plum trees, they're uh, 12 feet tall or so, have pretty good stock size, produced zero, zero blossoms this year. Right, here's one of the cherry trees that I thought had cherries, but doesn't look like it has them now. There's another this 12 or 15 foot tall tree that looks like it has no cherries as well, which is very saddening. I don't know what happened to it. But I know that there were some, at one point anyways. And here's Another cherry tree that is also giving me the finger as well. So let's come around yep, through here. Oh, here's the Antonovka apple. Just on its own roots. It's about uh, four and a half feet tall now. Here's my kale forest. Only a few things are in blossom anymore but I've got all of these seeds and man let me tell you what it's a lot so this came all all of this kale forest and the stuff in the back came from what's the equivalent of about an eight by no a four by thirty foot raised bed so maybe fifteen to twenty five kale plants produced about half an acre to an acre of kale, no problem. And uh, so this, it, it produced about a gallon of seed. So I've probably got maybe uh, 15 gallons of seed in the in the bushes here, or in the seed pods right now. It's ridiculous. So the deer have been coming and really eating my stuff, especially in this area because I don't have any of it fenced off. Uh, but that's fine, that's one of the reasons why I have so much stuff. Even the locusts they've been eating, if you come up here, 
you see they've there's no branches it used to be just like that and there's some blueberries my uh, plum tree has a single pl uh, I think two or three plums yeah there's a couple of plums right up in there's one and that's a little bit easier to see but again it used to be pretty well fleshed out and it's not fleshed out at all now got blueberries mixed in this area you guys have seen it all before and there's some more of those wild foxglove they tend to adorn this area there's pretty neat. Oh, there's a rabbit running around must be a baby because the babies don't really run they tend to stay oh here's a blueberry with a bunch of blueberries on it and I had some at one point this year. I had some cranberries on the on the actual bush. Here's a cranberry. You see, I don't see any fruit though. I saw one. It had the cranberries had all been eaten off of it. So that could have been one, been the one. Just what's nice about once you take the grass down. So I took the grass down here, and I uh, used to be, you know, a foot and a half tall or so, and then it gives a chance for the clover to come up, and some of the other things to come up that aren't quite so impressive. So this is all pretty cool. Let's see, here's another cranberry. Let's see if there's any things on it. Hmm, nope. Not really. Oh, there's a honey locust. Notice the honey locusts grow much, much slower than the others. Some kind of peach or nectarine. I'll show you the, that uh, apple tree that was just had the, all those ridiculous blossoms. I need to come and trim it, of course, but it's got a ton of growth on it. Several shoots coming up uh, 8 to 12 inches so and I've got a couple of surprises back here too which I'm really excited about I just noticed them I think it was this Monday or so and down here there's some comfrey I don't even know how it managed to get there this guy it's a pawpaw got my first pawpaw growing has some leaves out they leafed out super late it's buffalo berry most of my buffalo berries died most of the way down. Just a couple inches above the, the ground is how they sprouted. It's another pawpaw. Come over here, where you can see a persimmon. So here's one persimmon. That's what looks to be a dead buffalo berry. We come over here, oh, looks like another pawpaw. There's a third pawpaw. And my other persimmons haven't quite uh, come out of hibernation yet. Which are down here. Blueberry, one of my $2 blueberries. Another $2 blueberry. Comfrey. And if we come over here we can see that this guy, it is a persimmon, and it still has not come out of, of hibernation. It still has buds, and the buds are getting bigger, but it has not come out of hibernation yet. We come over here, this guy's buds are getting just, yep, so they're getting bigger. So at least it will live, I'm pretty sure. Still got plenty of time. This guy right here, barely has any buds, but it's got some. Here is my other cranberry. It's doing amazing right here. So big, and that's where cranberries were eaten from. And I've got another fruit tree that I planted in here. Oh, right in here that I need to trim out, trim around rather. And let's see, here's, here's from pretty much the bottom, there's the driveway where the white flowers of the blackberries are. 
and I tried to leave a lot of the fox stuff. It looks like there's not a lot of it that has grown up or produced flowers yet. There's some there. There's still a lot in the area. It looks like it's just a little bit slower. Some guy in a single prop plane flying up there. Let's see. Oh. So. But there's some stuff going on. Hey guys, thanks for watching.